Imagine if you could charge your phone, car and laptop in no more than 10 minutes. Wouldn't that be absolutely amazing? Well, those charging speeds are only a glimpse of the benefits the new nanotech battery could bring. In fact, it could change the whole landscape around electronics and electric vehicles. And Tesla is on its way to make it a reality. In this video, we will talk about how the introduction of a nanotech battery could change the whole dynamics of electric vehicles and the countless benefits and innovations this technology could bring along. Let's get started then, shall we? Ever since Tesla introduced its Model 3 version, a lot of things have changed. This model is only priced within a $40,000 price range, making it much more affordable for the common person. So much so that the Model 3 has become the world's most selling electric vehicle. In 2019 alone, more than 300,000 of these cars were sold across the world. Now Tesla's electric cars use a lithium-ion battery to power the car. These are essentially the same types of batteries that we use in our phones, but since a car requires many times the power compared to a phone, these batteries are very large. This means that Tesla utilizes a lot of cobalt, graphite and lithium to produce these batteries. The problem is that the world could just end running out of these elements quite soon. But not to worry, because Tesla does have a plan. The answer lies in the new nanotech batteries. This technology is extremely tiny, but even more so terrific. We are basically dealing with gizmos which are so much that you could not see them with your naked eye. Hell, not even with an average microscope, but as you would need an electron microscope to be able to see its function. To put that into perspective, the gizmos we're talking about, around which this technology revolves, are so small that you could fit billions of them on the point of a needle. That's right, but do not let that fool you. This tiny technology is absolutely amazing. Basically, one of the aspects of nanotechnology is a thing called graphene. Just take out a few seconds to understand what graphene is, because nanotech is the essence of how we perceive batteries. So, graphene is basically a thin sheet of atoms. You may have heard one centimeter thin or one inch thin, but a graphene sheet is one atom thin. They are arranged in a manner that makes this material harder than diamond and tougher than steel. That alone should tell you that we are dealing with a game changer. The material is also more elastic than rubber and lighter than aluminum. Remember that the materials we are comparing them with are actually known for these qualities, like aluminum is known for its light weightedness. Suppose we used graphene as a kitchen wrap. You wouldn't even be able to pierce that material with a pen or a pencil. You would actually have to apply a car's weight's worth of force to be able to pierce it. And hey, that is just how insanely strong the material is. It has so many other benefits which make it the perfect component of a battery. What comes to your mind when we talk about a metal that conducts electricity? I bet it's copper. We use it all over our house wiring and almost everywhere else because it's good at conducting electricity. Interestingly enough, graphene, which we're using in our nanotech batteries, is 13 times better than copper at conducting electricity. It also allows for a much higher storage capacity, which is something that would be great for an electric vehicle. But the best part? It can also charge at a much higher pace than any other material we know of. Now, another huge problem that we face with lithium-ion batteries is that they have a short life. You may have noticed that the battery life of your phone tends to deteriorate with time. That's because each time you charge it, you're sort of tearing apart the internal components, making them less and less efficient, all holding the charge each time. That's exactly why a lithium-ion battery is said to last for about 500 charges only. What if that was the battery they used in the Model 3 Tesla? You would have to get your battery replaced every one and a half years at a minimum. Now that would be a huge nuisance, wouldn't it? With graphene, we have an absolute winner, which can allow us to look past all these problems. For starters, graphene is so strong that it does not deteriorate each charge. That alone drastically increases the battery life of our electric car. Graphene can also withstand much higher currents, allowing it to fill up to its capacity at a very, very fast rate. With the regular lithium-ion batteries, we can only give it a lower current because we'll fry the battery after a certain point. You may have noticed your phone heating up after a charge. After a certain point, these batteries can even explode. But graphene can be pushed to charge at very high currents, and it wouldn't even budge. The charging time may not look like a big deal, but it really is. 
At this point, it is argued that a regular car can fill up its tank within minutes and run for hundreds of miles without issues. Critics of electric vehicles argue that it is a pain in the ass to wait half an hour for your vehicle to fully charge. In fact, some non-Tesla electric vehicles have as high charging times as a few hours, which is just horrendous. But what if you could fully charge your car while you were, say, eating a sandwich? That's right, with graphene batteries we're looking at a couple of minutes of charge time, which is about the same as filling your tank up with petrol. To be precise, graphene batteries can charge 33 times faster than lithium-ion ones. Another huge advantage is efficiency. Now, don't get me wrong, even lithium-ion batteries are quite efficient in the sense that a relatively small-sized battery can hold enough charge that it will power your car for hours on end and hundreds of miles on the road. But this nanotech is just something else. The fact that a graphene sheet is only as thick as a single atom says a lot about this. At this point, electric vehicles are already equipped with a lot of space as it's just the battery that requires a bit of space. But with a graphene battery, you'd have everything packed up in such a small size that the battery size would barely be noticeable. And this technology is still evolving and improving. As time goes on, lithium-ion batteries will have little to no advantage in our lives. Although graphene batteries will still have a long way to go. Now this may sound ironic, but nanotech batteries are slow to hit the market. This doesn't mean that there is not enough research available on them or that there are too many unknowns. The concept is tried and tested and is actually being implemented at smaller scales across the globe. For instance, China has also taken a lot of interest in this technology and is pursuing it aggressively. Yet we don't see any cars on the road which are equipped with these batteries. The reason is that we are yet to transform this concept into something so large that it would actually be able to power a car. On paper, it's all doable and the tests being conducted are quite promising as well. However, the process of safety testing can be a long one. Consumers need to be extremely sure that whatever they're putting their money into isn't something too new to be safe. The nanotech must go through elaborative stages of testing to ensure that when this technology is upscaled enough that it could power cars, no unforeseen drawbacks will occur. All these processes could take a couple of years. But as time passes, we're also capable to do more research on this. As a result, the technology will only get cheaper and cheaper. This is obviously a huge plus for the common person who will finally get their hands on something as innovative and brilliant as this. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you liked today's video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to view more of our amazing videos. Oh, and do hit the bell icon to remain updated about all our future videos. Till next time, take care.